Just a quick warning guys, uh, this video will be talking about suicide and a few events that's happened uh, on YouTube and just in general about suicide so if you feel like you can't um, watch it due to being upset or any other reasons then please kick away now. Um, if you are struggling with depression, having suicidal thoughts, anxiety, please stay on this video um, or click the links down below I'll be offering a few I've done some research offering a few websites that can help you including the NHS National Health Service for England Suicide Prevention Lifeline and Samaritans and Childline good evening everybody um, today's not gonna be happy vid it's not going to be all laughy jokey funny gifs and um, clips and sounds uh, like you normally use, this is about suicide and about Ethica. So what happened? Ethica, also known as Desmond Amofa, he's 29 years old, he's a YouTube streamer. He basically committed suicide and I feel the way YouTube has gone about this situation, I deem is inappropriate to be honest if you disagree with me please leave your comments down below be happy to talk about it with you um it's always good to talk to someone especially if you are depressed anxious or having suicidal thoughts or any problem family problems anything talk to someone i know it sounds like a generic thing to say but it, it does help talking to someone releases the upset releases the anger Obviously, do it to someone you trust or like a child line suicide prevention company. Um, I believe that they are non profitable, so they're there to help you. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I hope we can um, agree, agree on something at least. Um, if you do have any disagreements, as I said again, please leave the comments down below. I'm happy to talk about this with you. Um, Okay, so Etika, he is quite a followed person on YouTube with many subscribers. He in fact has 845,000 subscribers on time of recording. Um, I'm ashamed obviously of YouTube, how they've gone about this and um, how we didn't see it coming. Uh, I just want to talk about how we can move on from this and what should have happened in my opinion with this first thing I deem unacceptable really in my opinion also you can disagree with this I'm happy to talk as I said YouTube have removed his video saying I'm sorry I'll play a few clips of this now I'm sorry yo I'm sorry I betrayed your trust I'm sorry I pushed you all away I'm sorry I made a clown of myself I apologize, but unfortunately I'm breaking my, my own rules, no bitch niggas and shit. I shouldn't have pushed so many people away, now I've got nobody. You know I wasn't suicidal before, I really wasn't, but one thing I didn't realize was that the walls were closing around me so fast, I guess I am mentally ill. Or maybe I will. I'm not trying to put responsibility on it. I mean, I did a lot of wrong, too. I did a lot of wrong. Everyone's got to pay for what they've done wrong at some point. Everyone's got to pay for their sins at some point. I guess mine caught up to me. I'm sorry to those of you who I betrayed. I'm sorry for leaving such a stained legacy. I hope that my story maybe helps to make YouTube a better place somehow in the future to where people know boundaries and limits of how far things should go. It's fucked. I know this world's gonna forget me. I know y'all are all gonna move on. And everything's gonna be good, you know? There'll be technology and games and movies I'll never see. I'll never see Attack on Titan. Ah, that last episode with Grisha was crazy too, bro. I'll never see how Attack on Titan finishes. There's a lot of things I won't see. A lot of people who I wanted to see grow up. 
you know, John, shout out to Katie and you and the kids. I wish I could have seen them grow up. Was it the social media? Was it the mental illness? Was it the edginess? It was a mix of all of them. But I ultimately turned down help. And you know what they say, you can't help somebody who doesn't want to help themselves. I just didn't realize I needed help. It's not your fault. I don't want you to blame yourselves. It's all my fault. It was like that heavy delusion that I couldn't pull myself out of. I didn't even know I was in it. I was saying and doing things that made no sense. All because I was too scared to drop my image. So, I deserve uh, whatever's coming to me, I suppose. I suppose. I'm sorry I let y'all down. I wish I could have been stronger. I wish I could have lived better. I wish I could have done more. It's a confusing world sometimes, dog. I'm sorry to all of you. I'm sorry to Christine. I'm sorry to Fiona. I'm sorry to my mom. I'm sorry to Ben. I'm sorry to Ray. Auntie Anne. Everybody on Instagram, Twitter. I'm sorry to Sun. Let my story be one that advises caution on too much of the social media shit, man. It can fuck you up. It can give you an image of what you want your life to be. Unfortunately, it consumed me. It made me forget about consequences to my actions. It made me forget that we have to pay for the things that we say. It made me forget that there are, um, there is weight behind words. I was so consumed with this great image that I had had that I thought I was invulnerable to everything. The world would be better off without me. At least learning from my lesson. Keemstar, <laughs> I wish you the best, my nigga. Um, Pokey, sorry for scaring you so much. I really am sorry for that. I apologize. In this video, he apologized to his fans, his family, his friends, um, for what he says. He's a bitch, n-word, um, action, I guess. Um, in my opinion, that's absolutely not the case. If you're feeling suicidal, is how you feel. There's nothing, having suicidal thoughts isn't anything bad. Well, it is bad, it's a bad situation, but it's nothing anyone should take the mick out of, anyone should criticise. Um, if you're having uh, suicidal thoughts, talk to people. Okay. Um, I found the video upset. I've luckily been able to get a clip, a few clips, but it's, it's actually sad. Okay. It's not good. Also, there has been a few signs um, about Etika saying he, how he wants to die, how he wants to have his funeral, where he wants to be buried. Um, and this kind man, 29 years old, had so much love for his parents. He's greatly appreciated having them parents. These last few months, but I'm glad that um, I'm glad to be back and I'm happy to pay for your funeral. You do to pay for my funeral a million times over. Trust me, when I go into the ground, my mom is gonna see me in the best casket possible. I'm gonna have a bunch of silver on that bitch. Dogs, I want, I, yo, 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 listen, as a matter of fact, let me get it out the way right now. In case I ever do go down due to the dumb shit like loot bombers saying, I want to be buried. Where do I, I want to be buried at the YouTube headquarters in LA. And obviously, thoughts and condolences go out to anyone affected by this death and anyone really infected by suicide. Um, uh, to be honest, in my family recently, there's something that's happened. Not that anyone in my family, lucky enough, but it's still sad anything happening. It's not a nice thing uh, to bounce back from. Um, also, talking about this video, it's a lot of bravery to post this video. It's sad how he went about it, and it's sad he actually did come out doing this, but it took a lot of bravery to actually talk about his feelings to billions of people in the world, and I'm sure billions of people have seen this. And then we have a few news clips here about him going missing and him um, being announced dead, which is, in my opinion, very upsetting.
Also in the city, the search continues for a popular YouTuber and gamer who's been missing for several days now. No one has heard from 29-year-old Desmond Amofa, known as Etika, since he posted a video Wednesday apologizing to those he feels he let down. On Saturday, the NYPD says they found some of his belongings along the Manhattan Bridge. This isn't the first time the man's fans have been worried about his safety. Police were alerted back in April after he posted disturbing tweets. 9-11 first response. Etika, popular YouTuber and streamer, has been found dead after missing for nearly a week. Etika, whose real name is Desmond, went missing on June 19th after uploading an eight-minute long video titled, I'm Sorry, that appeared to be a goodbye. Sorry. I'd just like to quickly say before we move on to the next topic, uh, rest in peace, Etika, um, also known as Desmond Amofa. 29 years old, you will be remembered in YouTube. I hope your dreams get fulfilled and best of luck to your family. And hopefully we don't see another outbreak like this ever. Hopefully we can try and get people to start feeling better. Um, better and clear from their mental illnesses, suicidal thoughts, um, yeah. Moving on to the next topic, I believe a few things with YouTube is wrong. The way YouTube has gone about this Etika situation is is a bit weird. They've brushed it under the carpet. They've not addressed it really. Um, I, I believe the CEO of YouTube, Susan something, I can't remember her surname, <laughs> uh, should make a video addressing this situation and maybe put some things in force so nothing like this ever happens again with anybody I reckon sometimes YouTube comments get harsh um, in my opinion it doesn't affect me I've been called everything under the sun but I know it does affect, affect people um, I think there should be a, a comments filtering system uh, which would I believe help so much and it will encourage more YouTubers to start doing YouTube with knowing there's no percussions of bad hate comments obviously leaving constructive criticism comments but no rude comments okay um should be filtered out a few words like swear words and stuff like that should be filtered out i also believe um youtube should have a support button where you click that button and you get through to a member of a youtube team to support you whether you're anxious uh worried about someone in your family having suicidal thoughts there should be a team helping people like that to overcome these and i know we have uh suicide prevention hotlines and samaritans but a lot of the time people young people especially are on youtube uh, exploring videos and taking influence over people that so in my opinion i think we should have a support button and um, I'm happy if you guys want to email me um, talking about anything, I'm happy to talk to you. Um, yeah, and I know quite a lot of YouTubers take things like this seriously and will talk to you, any problems. I just hope that things can look up from YouTube. So, moving on to the final opinion. Rest in peace, Etika. I hope everyone has learnt something from this situation or any situation in this case anybody affected at all in the entire world it's not a nice thing i'd like to also encourage please talk to someone don't keep it bottled up inside release it and you'll get help if you are struggling to find help links in the description they're really helpful We've got samaritans nhs suicide prevention helpline and we've got Childline. They've got all the information down there. So please, guys, don't put yourself in a situation where you hurt yourself. Any shape or form, whether it's self-harming, suicide, it affects many people. To be honest, this whole ethical situation has me upset. I've not personally dealt with any suicide or depression in my family. Actually, do you know what? I have. It's not a good situation, it's not nice.
So uh, hopefully we can bounce back from this. And if you guys have any friends that seem upset or need help, please talk to them, help them. Or even refer them to this video. Another person that I believe is quite nice to talk to is True Geordie. When you send him an email, he is quite helpful because obviously he's dealt with stuff like this. So yeah, I hope you guys have learned something from this and will take this on board. Um, same with you YouTube. I hope we can get something sold and I'll see you all later. I love you guys.